Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gaurav Gambhir, also known as Decipher. I'm not a professional cricketer, even though my surname is Gambhir. Before I start off with my talk, TEDx ICT, I just want to know how many of you all know what beatboxing is. Quite a few, quite a few, I can see quite a few hands being raised. For those of you all who don't know what beatboxing is, here's a short demo. अभी हुआ है माहौल गरम फॉर्मल इवेंट को बना दिया है हमने थोड़ा इनफॉर्मल सो या मैंने मिस गौरव गंभीर माय स्टेज नेम इस डिसाइफर माय जर्नी विद बीटबॉक्सिंग स्टार्टेड मच लेटर इन 2012 एस अ किड वाइल आई वाज ग्रोइंग अप आई वाज इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द हिप हॉप कल्चर आई ग्रो अप लिसनिंग टू � Acorn, smack them all on the floor. <laughs> so yeah, I was listening to a lot of rap music. I had no idea what these guys were doing. I just, you know, liked the flow uh, in which they were rapping. I liked the clothes that they were wearing. I also was a big fan of WWE, and John Cena was my favorite wrestler. I remember, I remember telling my parents, "Ye me ko chahiye. Ye loose T-shirt kaha milega? Ye three-fourth pant kaha milega?" ये बड़े जूते कहाँ मिलेंगे? And that that image of him stuck in my mind. And he was a rapper too. He is a rapper. He has a lot of songs out there. You can go and listen to it on the internet. So I was very influenced by John Cena. Rap music is something that I was listening to since I was a kid. And I was subconsciously feeding all this information into my system. I never dreamt of being, you know, related to the hip hop scene. मुझे कोई आइडिया नहीं था आगे जाके क्या होने वाला है. In the ninth standard, I came across a movie called Step Up to the Streets. And I'm seeing that movie and I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm seeing people spinning on their heads, people spinning on their hands, people using their entire body to spin all over the floor. And I was completely blown away by it. And that is when I realized that what the dance form that I was watching was called b-boying. I researched more about it and I was completely blown away by it. But I think at that particular point of time, there was nobody that was teaching b-boying in India. This was when I was in the ninth standard around 2006, 2007. And when I went to the 10th standard, my life took a complete U-turn. I finished school and I shifted from a place called King Circle to a place called Virar. I, I, st <laughs> I still remember watching a Virar local and being traumatized by, you know, watching that train. There were people seated, but the only catch was they were not seated inside the train. They were seated on the rooftops and that scared me a lot. But the good part about shifting to Virar was that I was just one station away from a place that's not very commercially well known, but it's a place full of talents. And that place is called Nala Sopara. <laughs> 5,000 deposit, 2,000 bada. <laughs> so Nala Sopara was this place, you know, that has the best talents across Bombay. It had two of the biggest dance crews uh, from Bombay, Rohanan Group and Fictitious Group, which is now known as Kings United, V Company. You know, th these are the two groups that, on whom ABCD2 was made. And uh, yeah, I was just one station away from them. And that is when I decided, oh, b-boying. I want to spin on my head. I want to spin on my hand. <laughs> and I enrolled myself in a dance class uh, by Rohanian Group. So as I got busy with my studies in college, I slowly started drifting away from b-boying because it requires you to go to a physical space and you know, train a lot. I used to travel from Virat to Andheri to practice b-boying. And I, because I got busy with my studies, I couldn't find the time to, you know, practice b-boying a lot. And I was doing it with a lot of breaks. I was very inconsistent with it. 
and at the same time because i'd seen beatboxing live i started practicing it in the bathroom while i was taking a shower i was well on my way to become india's first bathroom beatboxer my parents were thinking ye kya kar raha hai ye pehle hi virar mein reh raha hai और ये क्या करने की कोशिश कर रहा है एंड आई वॉज एंड ऑब्वियसली नो बडी यू नो टेक्स यू सीरियसली वेन यू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एन आर्ट फॉर्म बीट बॉसिंग इज समथिंग दैट इन इंडिया राइट नाउ यू नो सम पीपल आर डूइंग इट रियली वेल एंड राइट नाउ पीपल आर गेटिंग एजुकेटेड अबाउट वॉट बीट बॉक्सिंग इज एंड टू वॉट एक्सटेंस एंड वॉट लेवल्स इट कैन गो टू बट बैक दैन नो बडी हैड एन आइडिया अबाउट द टर्म बीट बॉक्सिंग सो टाइम्स आर पासिंग बाय आई एम जस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग बीट बॉक्सिंग फॉर द सेक ऑफ इट In 2013, my friend comes up to me. I was in a college called Dalmia, which is in Malad. He's like, "Go to a beatboxing competition or like in NM College, Umang. Do you want to go? Look at Rishab. He just came second in a beatboxing competition. I ask Rishab, how many people were there in the competition? He says two. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, best chance hai ye. Ab mai pehla college certificate jitunga. Paach McDonald coupons jitunga." और घर जाके बोलूंगा लुक माई आई मेड इट आई फाइनली वन अ कॉम्पिटिशन इन अ कॉलेज फेस्टिवल एंड आई गो देर एक्सपेक्टिंग वन पर्सन दैट सेकेंड तो आऊंगा ही मैं तो कुछ भी हो जाए हारना तो है ही नहीं कुछ तो मेडल मिलेगा मैकडोनल्ड कूपन मिलेंगे कोई स्किन केयर का डिस्काउंट कूपन मिलेगा कुछ तो होगा सो आई गो देर एंड आई सी ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल एंड आई ओह Beat change. <laughs> so there are 25 people, and I get, and I'm really intimidated. I'm still thinking, you know, I know, I know beatboxing. I've been practicing since 10 months. I'm, I'm really gonna come at least third if they have a third prize. But eventually, I didn't even come third, and I got eliminated in the first round. There were, I think, from 25, they, they dropped it down to 15, and I was one of the contestants who got eliminated in the top 25. That made me realize that whatever beatboxing I was doing was okay, and I needed to practice it much more. So I go back home again. Now I start watching YouTube videos. Because when I was b-boying, uh, there was this thing told to us, and it, it's generally told to anybody who's practicing a skill set, that do not watch a lot of videos because you'll end up copying them. But whenever you start an art form, you have to copy somebody so that you know what the basics are to get the basics correct. You cannot just you know I know b-boxing, I'll find it. It's inside me. I will find all the sounds. I'll I'll make a style that you know doesn't exist in the world. It doesn't work that way. So I started watching YouTube videos. I started watching world level beatbox videos. I'm getting better at it. Getting better at it. Again, I go to a college festival, and this time I come second. Now I'm very happy. Three hundred rupees I got. This is a college in Andheri called Tolani. I go home and say, Ma, three hundred rupees. मैं जीत क्या है खुद के से beatboxing से. So they were like, okay, good. He's doing something. and i keep i kept winning certain college festivals slowly slowly uh, i transitioned from winning these beatbox competitions to judging them and one of the first beatboxing competitions that i judged fun fact was at vjti <laughs> and that and another incident is involved in it the, oh, the reason why i was a judge was because the judge who was on the way his car met with an accident <laughs> and then they asked the contestants who do you think should be the judge and they're like इसने पंद्रह बीस बार बैटल किया इसको रखो एंड दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई जस्ट बीट बॉक्स कॉम्पिटिशन एंड आई कैप डूइंग दैट कैप डूइंग दैट एंड इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन आई थिंक आई गॉट डन विद माई कॉलेज एंड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग इन एन एजेंसी इट्स इट वॉज एन एड एजेंसी वेर आई वॉज वर्किंग एट एंड लाइफ वॉज इंट एज अ टर्न आउट यू नो एज आई एक्सपेक्टेड इट टू बी बिकॉज आई बैक दैन देर वॉज नो हिप हॉप सीन इन इंडिया देर वॉज अ डांस सीन यू नो ऑल ऑफ अस मस्ट है प्रॉब्ली सीन डांस इंडिया डांस but there was no scope for rappers no scope for beatboxers divine was one of the only guys who was you know slightly making it from our scene and uh, one thing that uh, i uh, like to shed light upon is before i started working uh, full time in an ad agency there was also this facebook group known as cypher mania and that is where my name comes from i'll tell you something about it in cypher mania uh, and then all the rappers from the bombay scene used to meet uh, meet for weekend cyphers we used to meet at a place called narli bag in dadar and a cypher is basically a group of people uh, who have a certain talent and they get into the circle and they you know showcase their talent and this circle included a lot of famous rap names from the bombay scene like divine nazi and all of these people and we used to jam together we used to cypher together and 
you know we couldn't see a way or we couldn't see a path where we could do this full time or where people could pay us the only the only gateway that we had was college festivals where we were headline acts at some festivals but that was it and that didn't pay us as well so everybody had jobs i was also working in an ad agency and in 2016 i formed a hip hop group along with some of my friends known as bombay local it uh, includes some famous notable names from the rap scene like shakespeare gravity who was an mtv hustle and another crewmate of mine known as beat raw who i'm going to talk about later on and in 2018 uh there was the first time i became a part of something known as the indian beatbox championship me and beatro went for this championship and became vice champions at this particular competition and 2018 was also the time where we got you know news about the fact that there's this movie being made on the indian rap scene known as gully boy and i remember i'm working in this ad agency and one day i get a call <laughs> hello कौन आप डिसाइफर बोल रहे हैं हाँ मैं महेश हाँ महेश जी बोलिए क्या आप रैपर है जी नहीं ओके वॉट एंड आई है वर्किंग इन एन एड एजेंसी चल रहा है आई आई कीप डूइंग गिग्स आई एम परफॉर्मिंग विद माई यू नो क्रू बॉम्बे लोकल एट सम लोकल इवेंट्स बट दैट्स इट वी आर हैविंग अ बॉल ऑफ अ टाइम वी वी आर नोन इन द हिप हॉप सीन ऑल ऑफ दैट इज है One day again, ten days later, again I get a call. Hello, कौन मैं सुरेश बोल रहा हूँ क्या आप rapper है? And I'm like, oh, again I give him twenty numbers this time. I don't cut the he doesn't cut the call directly. I send him twenty to twenty five numbers. He takes those numbers. He's like, thank you so much. Uh, we wanted you know we're looking out for rappers. Cuts the call. Again ten days later. This time I, he calls me up and I'm like. कौन बोल रहा है like, सुरेश क्या आप रैपर है ऐसे नो मैं बीट बॉक्सर हूं वो क्या होता है एंड आई बीट बॉक्स ऑन कॉल फॉर हिम लाइक नहीं नहीं ये नहीं चाहिए हमें रैपर चाहिए अगेन आई सेंड इन ट्वेंटी नेम्स सो दिस इज गोइंग ऑन गली बॉयज कास्टिंग इज ऑन यू नो पीपल आर आस्किंग मी वाई बिकॉज you know people expected everybody from the bombay hip hop scene to be a part of it or to be you know a small part of it or some part of it but they were primarily looking only for rappers so i was sending these contacts to them and luckily one of my crew mates whose name is shakespeare he got selected for it uh there were three rounds of audition he made it through he he in fact had the final battle rap scene was between him and ranveer singh which got edited out which i saw live <laughs> so then uh, he gets selected and uh, i get to know that they are looking for extras to be on set they're looking for people that you know would just be a part of the crowd would be involved in hooting would be involved in cheering for the, whatever scene is being shot so i go on sets of gully boy and here we are uh, i'm watching ranveer singh right in front of me i'm very happy that i'm away from my job I've taken a five-day leave. I'm getting I'm getting paid to be an extra on set, and that is the only thing I'm expecting from the movie. And then on the second day, I uh, remember there was a lunch break, and uh, because after every shot they used to take a break, and during the break uh, a mic was passed on to me saying that oh you're a beatboxer you've come on set, can you do something for us? And I'm like yeah, and I did something like. <laughs> As soon as I did this, as soon as I did this, because there was a huge hall, it had huge speakers, and like the entire vibe was different. I did not realize that uh, right in the left corner there was Ranveer Singh sitting over there. He came running up to me and he's like, "Bhai, who are you?" I, I <laughs> and I told him I'm a part of this group, and you know I'm a local beatboxer. He said, uh, "You're amazing, and we need to meet. We need to catch up later on." So I said, "Okay, amazing. Something has happened. Four o'clock, Virar ke train se utke nga kuch to fayda hua. Maza aa gaya. Maine job se chutti li. Ranveer Singh ne mere se hath mila liya. Bahut maza aa gaya. 
but then obviously nothing happened i just felt like it was a momentary thing it was like my 2 minutes of fame where i could beatbox and in front of zoya akhtar and we sing and everybody liked it again we go on sets it's the third day they're shooting for the movie nothing is happening on the fourth day farhan akhtar comes on sets and uh, while he's about to leave zoya akhtar tells him that before you leave you should listen to this guy and his partner that's along with him his name is beat raw and we beatbox in front of him and before he leave before uh, like after he left the sets zoya akhtar comes up to me and tells me i want you to do two tracks for the movie gully boy and uh, that was really amazing because i was an extra on set and did not did not expect anything to come out of it i go home and i've i've been sent a voice note by this rapper called nitin mishra and they tell me can you send a beatbox uh, tune to this in the next 10 15 seconds i sent them a voice note which which went like they like done ye kya hai amazing <laughs> so the next day we are called we called on set again and i'm shooting this song called asli hip hop with ranveer singh and it's very very crazy that you know not expecting anything at all started something as a hobby we performing a lot of uh, performing at a lot of gigs in the bombay scene in the local circuit then came this movie and uh, i just land i just happened to be there you know uh, it was something probably it was something that was supposed to happen because i was called for it twice thrice previously i you know got a phone call and i said i'm not a rapper not a rapper not a rapper and uh, still somebody from my group got selected for it and i was standing right here in front of ranveer singh beatboxing So that was crazy i thought that was it nothing more to do with this movie i go back to the ad agency i'm working i'm doing that <laughs> and then suddenly again i get added to a whatsapp group this time is this producer called dub sharma he tells me we want we are planning to do a beatbox version of the socio political track called jingustan and i remember now next day we are planning to shoot jingustan i am standing in front of siddhan chaturvedi he said me ye gana nahi aayega <laughs> i ask him why and he said hindustan ko jingustan bol diya aur beatboxing karo ye to sensor board kaat dega but we still shot for the song we recorded it in a single day we shot for it and uh, eventually turned out to be really great both the tracks got millions of streams across all streaming platforms and it was the first time that in a bollywood feature film a full fledged beatboxing track was used which was a huge win for the beatboxing community and the hip hop community in general because this entire movie was based on the rap scene so this was 2019 for me gully boy came out you know i had two tracks in the movie everything going really well now every every single day we're quite busy with whatever we're doing we're doing a lot of shows we're performing at music festivals we're performing at local shows all across the country and in 2020 i decide to quit my job you know ab bahut ho gaya ab to bahut zyada busy ho gaya ab dono manage nahi ho raha and as soon as i quit my job around 2020 uh, during the lockdown i got shit scared because i was like this is the lockdown and i don't know what is going to happen uh well, it was like entering the gray area because you're an artist you're a full time artist now and as soon as you decide to become a full time artist something like the lockdown happens but uh, that also eventually turned out to be really well for me because uh, there's this is grammy award winning rapper known as ll cool j um whom eminem is inspired by he started rapping after watching el cool j he used to come live on instagram and uh, i used to stay awake for like 2 3 months you know trying to get on his instagram live i luckily happened to land on it once and uh, then he told me that you know he would like to do something with the indian scene he opened rock the bells radio which is a big radio station in the us for india as well he started shipping the merchandise to india and he publicly posted a video saying that all of this is happening because of this particular guy i'm doing it because of this guy and that is how the lockdown period was and yeah that's that's what beatboxing is in general that's how it's been till now uh for whoever any person you know any person who's present over here wants to 
pursue it full time uh, i would say that if you want to pursue your hobby full time you should go for it because the rap scene right now is booming nobody had thought back in 2014 2015 that you know one day we'll reach a stage where uh, there will be a show like mtv hustle there will be a movie made on the rap scene called gully boy and something like beatboxing which is a very very niche art form could be done full time because i think last year somebody uh, a beatboxing and dvk one india's got talent as well so right now beatboxing is at a stage where it's getting its commercial recognition uh, the rap scene has also blown up the entire hip hop scene in india is at a boom and uh, yeah all i want to say is keep believing in your dreams and pursue it to the fullest and eventually some good things happen <laughs> before before i end my talk i would like to end it with the showcase from a crew called Bombay Local. Thank you so much.